take these pretty Dollar Tree pumpkins and make them more my style, like primitive. Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy, if you didn't know, and if you did, thanks so much for coming back. All right, so we start with some doilies that I got from a Dollar General, and take the tag off, and then I'm spraying them with this distressing spray, and I do both sides. Um, one of them I did with a walnut, the other with vintage photo, and both of them I used that smoky um, one. These come in a pack of three, um, and I got mine at Michael's. Super fun. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, let, let it dry. It'll stain your hands bad, you'll see my hands. Um, I'm removing all of the greenery, not the greenery, the floral stuff from these cute pumpkins. Perfect, and we're gonna save it, we'll use it later. So then, once your doily is dry, you're gonna put your pumpkin in the middle, and then see how I'm pulling up and kind of folding? It's kind of like a pleat, if for my sewers. <laughs> But I'm just kind of pulling and folding, pulling and folding, go all the way around. Then once you go all the way around, I'm going to take some jute and I'm going to tie it nice and tight at the top. <clears throat> I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but you know me and I just do stuff on the fly. <laughs> so then I take some hot glue and put that on the top of our doily and then I start wrapping. And you want to make this fairly tight. Like you want to really wrap it um, because this is going to be our pumpkin stem. I know, crazy, right? It's going to be fun. All right, so keep wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. You can do as much or as little as you want. Um, I wanted to make it look very much like a pumpkin stem, so I went all the way to the top. Um, you do want to add some glue onto this because it its nature is to kind of roll off it and um, come off. So nice and tight and make sure you're doing glue. And there we go. I wasn't doing super tight before and you can see it, but now I've got the hang of it. I'm telling you right now, when I do projects with you, <laughs> I'm doing them on the fly. I don't know if it's gonna work, but <laughs> we plug through. And then again, I add some more glue and then I'm just gonna, it's just to stabilize the jute, that's all. And it's a nice chunky stem, how fun. And then all I do is cut the end and glue it and there you go. Now I have some florals from Joanne Fabrics. They were buy one, get three free. And I'm just removing the leaves and I just glue them on. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. And then I'm gonna add some of the berries from the florals that we took off of the pumpkins originally. And I love it. Look how pretty this is. All right, next we do the same thing with an another one of the pumpkins. And I'm using some more of the florals. These are just a different shade um, of leaves. And I'm gonna do the same thing, glue those on. Here's some more berries from the other one. Glue those on. Super pretty, love it. I did two leaves for each of those pumpkins. I mean, stop, right? Now, I just loved the way that this pumpkin, the shade of it, it was just so pretty. So what we're gonna do is kind of try to tie in all of the pumpkins together by putting one of, two, excuse me, of each of those leaves that we used for the other pumpkins. Then I used some wire jute and wrapped it around a pencil and then put that in the center and then a cinnamon stick in the center of that and stop, look at how pretty these came out. I am so excited about them. I mean, they, it just took a little bit to kind of revamp it and now it fits our decor. Yay! Anyways, friends, thanks so much for watching and I hope this inspires you.